In this video, we're going to talk about hub and spoke travel. Planning travel can feel daunting, but what if I told you there is a better way to visualize and simplify the whole problem of making your plans? Hub and spoke travel, where hubs are where you go to stay, usually your hotel or where you plan to be, and the spokes being all the events around it. So you will find how many spokes you need to visit and that's how many spokes you'll have around a hub. And then when you need a, to get to another hub, that's when you need to figure out how to transport between hubs. And so it's a simplification, and I'll show you how this simplifies your problem with travel planning. Let me go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Don, this is my channel where we talk about adventure travel, our travel experiences, and how those experiences can help you travel better. If you like our content, please be sure to give us a like. Feel free to give us a comment. If you have questions or would like future video on something, give us a comment and if you would like to check out our future trips or ask us a question on our subreddit I have the link below all right let's talk about hub and spoke travel I mentioned before hub and spoke travel is a way of visualizing your trip and breaking it down and simplifying it so that you can kind of take a complex problem and easily draw it up on a whiteboard and simplify the whole planning process and even figure out where you can eliminate pieces that don't seem worth going to. First you have the hubs. I'm going to go ahead and use my trip to Egypt as an example. So the hubs would be potentially where most of your, your spokes are going to be. So let's say I want to go to Luxor. I want to see the pyramids. Now if I just We'll put those down on the list. These are spokes. These are the events and things that I have to hit on this trip, otherwise I'll be disappointed. So I'm going to look at where the hotels are going to be around those spokes and find the best rate that I'm looking for and that's going to be my hub. And so probably Cairo is going to be one of the hubs, somewhere in Cairo maybe close this is going to be around my price point you know wherever i feel comfortable staying in cairo and also luxor i'm going to look at what uh where i can stay there and find out where my hub is going to be and i'm probably you know i'm really lazy when i travel and this also it takes time and it has a lot of considerations and costs uh, on your trip with limited time to move from hub to hub so when i stay at a hotel i'll probably stay there until i've exhausted all my spokes and i'm ready to transfer to another hub you have your wish list of all of the places uh, that you must visit you would eventually be able to find the local hubs and start listing out all of the spokes that you have around those hubs and you can kind of see where the aggregation of the spokes are in relation to the hubs and see how you can map out your days so you can kind of see i have a lot of spokes around cairo and so you can kind of see the spokes are clustered around maybe four or five aggregations of lo locations because obviously you have driving time from your hub to the location it's going to cost time and and uh, resources there's only so much you can do in a day but this is to give you an idea okay to hit all these spokes that i want to go visit is probably going to take me about five days so i'm going to give myself five days around the cairo hub to, to there and then i can start seeing that i can have another event to transfer to my next hub which will be luxor in this case important consideration is budget so we're going to have a limited budget in all trips unless we have unlimited resources but probably not and so you everyone's going to have their own personal budget and figure out you know what spokes they can hit on, around the hub but maybe maybe you have you have less budget than you uh, planned and you have to eliminate some spokes so you can like you could either ax out a whole hub, you know, being that maybe I can go visit this other hub in another trip, a future trip, or I'm going to, because obviously transferring to from one hub to another, it's costly. And there's going to be some time cost. And it's going to usually take a half day to a full day, depending on how close the hubs are, but it's, it's going to take time. And so you have to calculate that into how many days you have. And so, you know, it's easy just to ax off a whole day. So I'm going to just spend my time in Cairo. But on the uh, other hand, maybe you have plenty of budget. You want to transfer to another location on the weekend instead. And so to, to do that, I have to spend two more days in Cairo. And it's just easier to transfer on the weekend for, you know, whatever reason. And so in that case, I can add additional spokes in 
uh, and I can do a whole bunch of research around Cairo for extra things to do. And, and I can add those in. So you can kind of start visualizing how many spokes I have, all those clusters, and how many days I'm gonna spend at each hub and really stress the importance of moving from hub to hub being a transfer or transportation event. The budget consideration. You can start seeing which hubs are more expensive than others and which spokes are more expensive. And you can start seeing that you can start pruning certain expensive events that are costly on time to get to you can prune those out to save budget for other things like maybe uh, and maybe i can't fit in luxor but you know for whatever reason just for example sake I, I can make it to aswan and i can actually it's further but maybe it's cheaper there and the things to do there you know it takes less time it takes less less cost consideration so i can make it there instead and so you know i'm gonna save Luxor for another trip and go to aswan instead and so you can kind of play around with you know your hubs and your spokes and kind of start seeing how how much you can actually do in your budget and time part starts becoming how do you get from one hub to the other and so these are transportation days and the days that you probably have the most work around you know to pack your luggage make sure it's ready to go make sure you don't leave anything behind because it's always hard to go back uh, and then you have to get ready to fly you know, we'll have a, a, a plane ticket, maybe a train ticket, maybe we'll rent a car, but or maybe we'll take a bus. There's all sorts of different ways, but you have to figure out from getting one point to another and, and how to get back uh, ultimately. And so, you know, usually it'll be one way and then you'll have another transportation back, but you'll have to kind of figure out that. But it's nice being able to visualize in hubs and how you have to get one hub to another. And usually you might have a hub maybe co-located around the airport, maybe not, but obviously international airports are gonna be where you fly into or fly out of if it's an international trip. One hack that we kind of have used in the past is hiring tours or private drivers or uh, private tour guides. And so different situations you might have now, honestly, when we go to places, we want someone to be able to tell us what we're looking at. There's a lot of history, there's lots of culture. You didn't have no clue what you're looking at. It's a statue that means something, and it may be meaning to you know something important, but without the historic context, uh, you're not going to get it. And you know, as much as we've traveled, they don't always break it down and have some plaque that you know tells the whole story behind it. So we really do look for some expertise to when we go to these places to to help us understand what we're looking at. And and I really enjoy learning the history and the culture behind these things. And so you know, with that said, you can hire someone and then work with them and say, you know, I'm transferring to another hub. So I'm, I'd like you. To be able to drop me off at this other place which maybe is a you know, little additional drive for them and but usually we can work something out but one nice thing is we're knocking some spokes off of our list on one day so that's the day that we're doing events still and then we're going to transfer just a part of that day and end our day at another hub which is you know it's like uh, two birds with one stone it optimizes the trip it's a simplification and you can start seeing where all your hubs are. It doesn't work well if you're always on the move, like a road trip, like there's a trip that we did in Iceland where we did have some hubs in there where we stayed multiple days along the ring road of Iceland, but often it was a lot of moving from one point to the other. I think there was never a day where we weren't driving at least two to four hours somewhere else. And so it was constantly on the move. So. It may be less useful for those kind of trips where you're just always on the move and you just kind of live out of your car. But I will say it is a great simplification tool for just kind of breaking things down into smaller building blocks and helping you visualize the trip that you're planning and, and how to organize it and figure out where actually you want to spend the most time and where maybe it's not worth it. You might have like one hub and one spoke and maybe <laughs> it's a huge cost to get out to the hub, so maybe that one spoke's not worth it, or maybe another trip dedicated for it. You have options. Okay, so that's all for hub and spoke travel. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to give me a comment below. And yes, I'd love to hear from you. Bye bye.